Hey, fifth grade, welcome back to part two of our anatomy lab. Now I put lab in quotation marks because I checked with little Z's mom uh, and she said, no, in fact, we will not be allowed to dissect her son. She was just like, oh, what if you put his heart in the wrong place or he's not my same kid when you're done? So we have to respect that, don't we? So we're not gonna be allowed to dissect little Z. So instead, um, we're gonna kind of do a virtual dissection. And as you work your way through my unit, we're gonna focus mainly on the respiratory, the circulatory and the digestive system, okay? But let's go ahead and kind of start at the beginning. If you um, paid attention uh, to my last anatomy lesson, you probably heard me say that the smallest part of an organism, a living thing that is alive, is called a cell. And there's a lot of parts of you that are not alive, but the smallest part that is alive is called a cell. So little z, even though there's only one little z, little z is made of billions and billions and billions of individual living cells. And just like little z needs food and oxygen and creates waste, each one of his cells needs food and oxygen and creates waste. Okay, so anyway, those cells, now little z is not just a bunch of cells all kind of randomly put together. Um, similar cells group together to form what are called tissues. Um, those tissues themselves will group together to form organs. So a certain Certain types of tissues group together to form an organ called a stomach, or certain types of tissues group together to form an organ called a heart, and so forth. Um, then um, the organs themselves, organs that serve a related purpose, group together to form organ systems. So you have a digestive system and a nervous system and a muscular system and so forth, 11 or 12 different systems in your body. And then those systems together form an organism, whether it be a jellyfish or a frog or a amoeba or little z. So in today's lesson, what I want to impress upon you is how even though we study those systems separately, and even though we study those organs separately, they do not, they do not work separately. All these systems work together. They both do work together and they must work together. Um, the circulatory system works with the muscular system, and it's all pretty amazing and pretty complicated, and you're going to have a really good time uh, learning about it. Um, I think my lesson that I put together for you is really great, so I hope you enjoy it. But let's go back to little z. You notice I put a fork in little z's hand. I did that because, just like you and me, he is pretty much stuck at home 24-7. And all little Z thinks about is eating, right? Um, all he thinks about is eating. And in fact, that's probably the only way his mother gets any work done is says, I'm not going to feed you if you, don't, uh, if you don't do your schoolwork. So anyway, it's 6 p.m. And his most awesome mom goes to my favorite pizza place, PJ's, hint, hint, and she picks up a hot, delicious pepperoni pizza. Now, already little Z's digestive system, his stomach is sending a signal to his brain saying, I'm hungry. So already we see a relationship, right? His stomach is communicating with his brain. It's grumbling, right? Now, mom walks in the door with the pizza. Little Z's nose smells the pizza. Little Z's eyes see the pizza and little Z's ears hear mom say, pizza's here, right? So those three things, the eyes, the nose, and the ears are part of the nervous system. So 
immediately we have the nervous system that kicks in and another system we don't think about very much kicks in called the endocrine system. Now the nervous system, as you know, is the brain and the spinal cord and it commands your body to do all the things that it does, but the endocrine system is pretty cool. Z is hungry, right? So, um, so his endocrine system, which are, are little tiny glands, they're all over your body, but I put a couple by his brain. His endocrine system is going to put a shot of a chemical. I'll bet some of you may have even heard of it. It's called, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me. Anyway, it puts a shot of a chemical into his bloodstream that makes his heart start to beat and his, his, his lungs start to move faster. Adrenaline, it's called adrenaline. <laughs> so he gets a shot of adrenaline from his adrenal glands that get his respiratory system and his circulatory system moving right away at full blast. And then his brain sends a signal to his muscles Pizzas here run for the door. So, so, but if his muscles are going to run uh, to the door to attack his mom to rip the pizza box out of her hand, of course, they're going to need food and oxygen. And how is that food and oxygen going to get to the muscles of his legs? It's going to get there by way of his circulatory system. So, the circulatory system is going to move blood full of nutrients and oxygen to the muscles of his legs. The muscles of his legs are going to pull the bones, the skeletal system of his body to the door to attack his mom, to pull the pizza out of her hand. Then, of course, the purpose of that pizza is to... Um, feed little Z so that his digestive system can break that food down into the nutrients. So look at that. Just by his mom walking in the door with that delicious pizza, little Z's nervous system, endocrine system, circulatory system, respiratory system, digestive system, muscular system, and skeletal system have all worked together just for that one task of ripping the pizza from mom and gobbling it down before she gets her fair share. Good job, little Z. So anyway, I hope that gives you an idea about how amazing and complicated your body is. And I hope you enjoy the lesson. Um, go through it as many times as you need to. There's no reason, um, based on what you've learned from your regular science teachers and from me and my lessons that you should not get a 100% on a little quiz at the end, but don't fail to take it and don't forget to hit submit assignment. Have a great day, have a great day guys, and I miss you all very much. I'll see you later.